Hi. Hi, everyone. This is so, so exciting. I'm so happy to be here uh, on the Beach Body Facebook page going live. And I'm really excited for people to hop on and ask me a zillion questions um, on whatever you want to ask me. Obviously, today we're going to be talking about the to be mindset. Um, but I'm happy to answer questions on everything while I'm here live and have access to you. Um, so welcome. People are starting to come in. I'm really excited. Hi, Diana. Um, hi, people. Come on in. I love Beachbody. I love the whole Beachbody Facebook page. Isn't this just the best Facebook page ever? Um, and like definitely, definitely write in questions. Whatever you have questions about, I want to answer today. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen videos of me or have heard about the two beam mindset, but today I want to give you a lot more answers about it. Hi from Tennessee. Um, okay, so a lot of questions are coming in. Um, before I start fielding a lot of questions, I wanted to give you guys an intro about me, tell you a little bit about the To Be Mindset program if you don't know about it, uh, and then I'll refer more to the questions. Hi from Costa Rica. Um, very, very excited to answer all your questions. Okay, so um, before I start about my personal story, just so you know about the To Be Mindset, the questions a lot of people ask on these calls is, Will it be available on BOD? It will be on Beachbody On Demand, um, but it's considered a premium. It's a separate fee. It's $99 from May 2nd to June 4th. The price increases to $119 after that. Um, and you could also get the 2B Mindset Do the Program if you don't have BOD at all. Um, and on May 2nd, you can get that on try 2 bmindsetcom So it is a completely separate program because it is so different than anything on Beachbody On Demand. Um, and I'll get into that. So let me start. Um, a lot of people are asking, what is the 2B Mindset? What's it all about? Who's it for? So let me explain a little bit about me, my history, my story, um, so you understand. So I'm Alana Molstein. I'm a registered dietitian, a nutritionist, um, and I've lost 100 pounds and kept it off with the 2B mindset um, and created this program um, because I myself struggled with weight um, and had, had needed a better system because I love food and needing lots of it. So, um, so it's a one-time fee, Leslie. Okay, I don't want to be distracted by the chat, so I'm going to put it down and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my story. So as a kid, I really struggled with weight. And I really struggled with my weight my whole childhood. And I was very, very, very obsessed with food. And obviously, I still love um, eating lots and lots of delicious food. Um, but as a kid, I was really preoccupied by it. Um, birthday parties for me were always about pizza and cake. And carnivals were always about, like, you know, the ice cream cones and the cotton candy and the big pretzels. And everything revolved around food. Um, and baseball games meant hot dogs. Like, whatever it, whatever the occasion was, my focus was always on the food that was going to be served there. Um, and I always looked at it as a celebratory thing. My whole family were foodies um, and all of that. But the truth is, is I started using food more as an emotional coping mechanism at around age four when my parents got divorced. Um, and I found that was the time where in a life that was like increasingly emotionally unstable, I used food for that sense of comfort and stability. And um, I just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And unfortunately, my weight started becoming a huge hindrance on me having a positive childhood because I couldn't do the monkey bars. Um, you know, I, I put on a ballet tutu one time and I saw girls snarking and laughing and I never wanted to go to ballet again. I didn't even want to try out for basketball because I didn't want to be bouncing on the court and having people on the sidelines being distracted by that. I mean, my weight was holding me back from so much part of living on sleepovers. I can never share clothes with everyone or put on costume parties like everyone else because I was just so much more overweight than everyone else. And I was always the big kid. Um, and my whole family, like, we, we just always thought we had the bad metabolism or we were big boned or we had the fat genes and that, you know, it was just something that we had to live with. But at the end of the day, we were really obsessed and focused on food. And my parents did every diet ever, whatever was hot and trendy then, um, South Beach, Atkins, Zone, 
um, Weight Watchers, you name it. I saw them do it, be on it, be off it, struggle with it. Um, and I never wanted to take part in that because I saw that it never worked. It's the equivalent now of paleo and keto and whole 30 and all these things. And I just saw that like long term, they don't work. And and they're so overly restrictive and not the way I like to live my life, which is more free than that um, and more sustainable and sensible and, and, and fun. So I, uh, I really continued to struggle with my weight and my doctor started becoming really concerned because more than just a superficial thing of me being in bigger clothes, my doctor was starting to see my health really take a turn for the worse. And my pediatrician, my doctor at the time, I was eight years old and she was showing my, me and my parents how much I was just off the charts for weight and how my cholesterol and blood sugar levels were things that she was literally seeing in middle-aged men that she was now seeing presented in this six, seven, eight-year-old girl. So at eight years old, she handed us a brochure to a weight loss camp and she goes, you have no choice, you have to send her. And at eight years old, eight years old, I mean, now looking at my eight-year-old nieces and nephews, I realize how young that is. At eight years old, I had to go to fat camp. I was the youngest bunk in, I had to go completely by myself for nine weeks as an eight-year-old to this camp where I got weighed in and measured and took before and after pictures. I got this like pre-portioned meal that I had to wait online for. I had to exercise 10 hours a day and take all these nutrition classes for over two months every summer. And I'd lose 30 pounds and I'd be excited about it. Um, and I'm lucky because at a very young age, I had a positive association with weight loss and I looked at summer camp as a weight loss opportunity. I just told my school friends I was in a sports camp, um, but I would come back so much you know, thinner and happier and I'd get new clothes and I'd be, you know, feeling more confident, but then I would just gain it all back and more. Um, because you can gain a lot more weight in 10 months than you can lose in two months. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. And my parents didn't change their ways. I didn't change my ways. So I would just gain all my summer camp weight back in the school year. Um, so what I did is I would just go back to camp the next summer. So I would go to camp every summer, lose about 30 pounds, and then gain it all back and more every school year. And I'd go and lose 30 pounds, and I'd gain it all back and more every school year. And I literally did this yo-yo dieting, horrible cycle for about six years. Just losing weight, gaining it all back and more, losing weight, gaining it all back and more, continuing to manipulate my food, continuing to you know, eat in the kitchen late at night. I would eat jars of peanut butter. I would eat sleeves of cookies. I remember my parents coming home and saying, where's the Chinese food we ordered for dinner? And I go, that was for everyone. And I literally had eaten like a family's worth amount of Chinese food while watching Nickelodeon in the kitchen on a bar stool. Like, so destructive. Um, I used to eat, I used to walk myself to school and just eat like whatever I could find from the corner store on my way to and from school. Go to Starbucks, get like the venti caramel frappuccino with the whipped cream caramel sauce. You name it, my food was just completely out of control. Um, and I just kept gaining more and more and more weight with time. And I topped off at my highest weight. My highest weight was 215 pounds, and I was only five feet, two inches tall. So I weighed 215, I was 5'2", and I was only 13. So I couldn't even fit into clothing stores. I couldn't even fit into adult clothing stores. I was a size 20. And Gap and Old Navy, none of them were carrying that size. Luckily, online shopping just like came in at that point. And so they had those special sizes online, but you couldn't even find them in stores. And meanwhile, my friends were still shopping in kids stores and I couldn't even fit into adult stores. So I would order size 20 jeans online, but that was really like, they were starting to even get tight and there was no size beyond it at that point and when we had a fancy event like a wedding like a family wedding my mom would take me to a fabric store and a seamstress and we would go to a tailor and they would piece me together a fancy outfit because I refused to go to Lane Bryant as a 13 year old kid so I was being completely weighed down by this food struggle I was having from the outside I was always sociable I always had friends I was always in a clique I always felt good and felt, you know, part of something on the outside. 
but internally I was struggling so much by this weight uh, and it was holding me back from really where I wanted to be. I always wanted just an, an easier life. I always wanted my weight to not be something I was struggling with. I always wanted food to not be a struggle. I was so sick of people telling me that, you know, like if only I would lose weight. Um, and, and I'm so tired of being insecure and hiding in pictures and, and avoiding events because I felt so much bigger than everyone else around me. So that's when I really just changed my mindset. And I, going into high school, I made the decision that I was no longer gonna let this struggle and this battle with my weight and my food take over the rest of my life. And at 13 years old, I decided I'm gonna go back to camp that summer. I'm gonna make the absolute most of it. And I'm gonna lose as much weight as I can. But when I get back, I'm gonna just come in with a whole new mentality where no matter what happens, I'm at least not gonna let this weight come back on. So I weighed into camp that summer at 215 pounds, five feet, two inches, and I lost about 30 pounds. I got to about 185 and during high school. And at that point I was determined I will never gain at least this way back. Okay, no matter what happens, I'm just not getting this way back. And so I started working out a system. And I started going on the scale at least once a month to make sure that it wasn't so far beyond my reach. And I was never again gaining 40 pounds without me like realizing and being unconscious about it. And what can I do during the school year to make sure that I at least don't gain this weight back? And I started picking up tools and I started learning and I started having a really, really open mind and believing that I could do this on my own because I was told my whole life that we had slow metabolisms and I had bad genes and I just had, I was bigger bones than everyone else. But at the end of the day, I would go to my friends' houses in high school and I'd see, you know, they had a healthier weight and mindset and relationship with food in their bodies. And I'd see like their dinner table looked a lot different than mine. And, you know, their mom is running every day to relieve stress from her job and not because she has to lose 30 pounds tomorrow. And, and, and they're talking about going to an event and they're talking about who the florist is going to be and who they're going to see there and what music is going to be there and what the setting is going to be like and how fun it's going to be. And my family is always talking about who's catering. Um, and I started realizing the, the mindset of, uh, of healthier people and how I could adopt that to my life to get there. And I started realizing that all these people I was jealous of my whole life because I thought that they were naturally thin or had skinny jeans or whatever it was, I realized it's not really the case. It's They have a better perspective and relationship with food and I can actually start adopting some of those habits and principles into my life and see the same results. And for the first time in my life, I started losing weight on my own. And through high school, I not only kept my weight off, but I actually started losing that weight on my own. And I decided my life was just getting so much better and so much freer because I was still eating whatever I wanted and I was still eating big portions and I was still going out with friends and I was still not dieting and not restricting, not depriving myself of anything because I never wanted to live a life like that. But I was still seeing results by putting together these principles. And I knew my life was getting better because of it. And so I decided I wanted to make a career out of it. And if I wanted to make a career out of it, I promised myself I would always make sure that I became a registered dietitian so I was coming from the most credible place. And I wanted to be a real expert in nutrition so I can not only for myself, approach it in the healthiest, most credible way, but I could also give everyone else the most credible um, and scientific based and healthy advice I can give them while still losing weight and living their life. So I went on to college and I got my bachelor's of science degree in nutrition and dietetics. Um, I became a registered dietitian. I later became got my master's in, in nutrition and I started applying what I was learning in school to my everyday life because I wanted to join a sorority and, and drink with my friends while still using these principles of eating late night and lots of food, but in a way where I could still lose weight um, and have my focus on my health goals. And I did, and it really started working really well. And um, by the time I finished my schooling, I was down about 75 pounds. I was a registered dietitian. I ended up getting married around then. And that's when UCLA hired me. So UCLA hired me, uh, the university hired me um, as a registered dietitian specializing in weight loss, they said, we want to give you a weight loss seminar to lead. And here are 70 to 100 employees, and we want you to teach a 12-week weight loss seminar. And that was my first opportunity taking what I had learned for myself personally and applying it to others. And UCLA gave me this really diverse group of people. And they had to lose, in order to be part of the program, you had to lose 40 pounds or more. But the group ranged 
in total demographics. I had people who were 19 years old working in the kitchen. I had people on their feet all day like nurses and janitors. And then I had secretaries who were 75 post menopause and everything in between. I had people with every medical condition, people who did work out, people who did not want to work out. Um, and everything in between. I had people who were Italian and Greek and fasting for Lent and and all these different cultures and all these different struggles with food. Um, people who like to drink a lot of alcohol, people who don't. Literally this wide demographic of people and I had to sort out a system that would be effective with everyone in this group setting. And in the 12 week period, I started you know, testing out the system and the average weight loss that first semester was about 12 pounds in 12 weeks. And UCLA and I considered that great, but we wanted to improve it. And so I started really figuring out what's working and what isn't. And in addition to teaching in a group setting, I got to work with each of these people one-on-one. -on -one. And one-on-one, -on -one, I would start to hear what people were thinking. And it was in these one-on-one -on -one sessions that people would start saying, but Alana, I still struggle with this. And Alana, I'm still craving that. And Alana, you told me to eat this, but when my mother-in-law says that thing to me, I still want to eat cookies and Oreos and French fries. And Alana, like, I still don't believe I can lose this weight and I'm still struggling with this. And it was in those one-on-one -on -one sessions where people would confide in me and confess these real feelings that I would say, you're not the only one. I'm also thinking that. He's also thinking that. She's also self-sabotaging in that way. And I started realizing that my personal weight loss and my effective, you know, tools in helping other lose weight, other people lose weight is nutritional, sure, but it's just as much behavioral and emotional. Um, and I started realizing what is everyone thinking in their head as it as it relates to nutrition. I realized all these diet programs telling people exactly what to eat is only one piece of the puzzle. And that's why everyone's gaining it all back and more each time because nothing is approaching these behavioral and emotional aspects to a weight loss journey that are so real. And it was in those private sessions that I started realizing, okay, so you're a volume eater like I am. You just like to eat a lot of food or you aren't in a volume or an emotional eater, but you're at a Super Bowl party for five hours or a Thanksgiving party for five hours. And how are you supposed to approach that when food is just in your face the whole time? So I started creating more systems to, to deal with these issues. And I started realizing nothing like this exists anywhere else. And I need to create a process for this. And I need to create a catchphrase for that. And I need to create, you know, different tools to really deal with all of these other aspects of of eating um, to help people lose weight happily and in control and learn to keep it off. And so I did. Um, and I ended up teaching at UCLA for, for 10 semesters. And every semester, the weight loss average improved. And we went from 12 pounds to 15 to 18 to 20 to 22 to 24 to 25. And in that time, I was also building up my private practice in Beverly Hills, working with more people one-on-one. -on -one. And that's when I also had got pregnant, had my daughter. And then, you know, after having my daughter, I re-entered back into weight loss mode um, after having taught so many hundreds of people reapplying all of these principles and seeing, wow, they really work and they're super effective. And that's when I lost my last 25 pounds. Um, and it was around that time that I actually met Beachbody. And I met this incredible Beachbody um, family. And I said, Beachbody, I have this amazing program. It's helped me lose 100 pounds. It's helped hundreds of other people um, lose so much weight and learn to keep it off. Let's launch this awesome program. Um, and Beachbody, Carl and Lara and the whole Beachbody team said, we love it. We want to do it, but we're going to make it even better. Um, and that's why Beachbody is so incredible. And that was about two years ago. And I think this is one of the longest programs Beachbody has ever worked into development, has ever tested. Um, we started our first test group with about 50 people about 16 months ago. So really just like everyday people, people who didn't even know what Beachbody was before, who had never been exposed to the programs, just people who've struggled with their weight, have done past diets, but who wanted to lose weight. We um, did the program with them and they are now, you're seeing some of the testimonials, I hope coming out like down 60, 70, 80, 90, 95 plus pounds and keeping it off so many months later. Um, and it's been so incredible. We've optimized the program since working with Beachbody in the past two years. We've increased that average weight loss to be 
you know, I used to see 25 pounds lost in about 12 weeks. Now we're seeing 25 pounds lost in closer to like nine to 10 weeks. Um, we've really just, you know, along with Beachbody, we've perfected and optimized this program. We've now tested it on hundreds of people um, with these added tools that we've, you know, added to the program. And now I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, so it launches in two weeks on May 2nd. Um, and I can't wait for you to get started. What it looks like, and I'll just go into that, is on May 2nd, you're going to be able to get this on teambeachbody.com. You'll be able to get it through BOD, or you can get it on trytobemindset.com. Um, the first month, it's going to be $99 because the app isn't ready to be launched until June 4th. So it, it launches May 2nd, but the app isn't ready. Um, but just know that we've tested this with, like, over 200 people at this point and there hasn't been an app and they've still been able to do it super successfully. So just know like you can absolutely start May 2nd and get in uh, at that discount pricing of $99 and then when the app does launch on June 4th, you'll get it automatically. Um, so uh, on May 2nd, you'll get the program and it's video based. So it's really beautifully perfectly produced, you're gonna love it. Um, it's a set of about 26 videos that break down my system. So the 26 videos uh, range from five to 30 minutes. The longest video is me in a grocery store taking you aisle by aisle, showing you how to read labels in the easiest way imaginable. So like they're so not scary and weird. You're gonna look at them and like, totally like see them as a happy, positive, um, easy experience. I'm gonna show you how to shop on a budget, like all these money saving tips, all these food saving, like time saving tips in the grocery store um, and everything in between. So the first 26 videos break down the system. So uh, the first few videos are my foundational principles, things that you're gonna do every single day, super easy, super effective, um, and have worked you know, for people of every demographic and size to lose weight happily and learn to keep it off for good. You're gonna see how I break down the food groups in such a refreshing and positive way. If you do have a lot of nutrition education, you're gonna love this because I'm gonna reinforce things that you may already know and I'm gonna totally blow your mind with things that you probably did not realize before. Um, and if you have no nutrition education, you are going to love it because I'm going to present nutrition in one of the simplest, most um, just fun ways possible. And I'll go through the food groups. I'll talk about what to have for breakfast, what you want at lunch, what you want at dinner. So there is a structure to this program. I know the word mindset feels like is there a structure? Yes, there is a structure. Um, there needs to be some sort of structure so it's effective and you're in control and seeing progress. But there's enough flexibility you'll see that you can still go to restaurants, travel, love food, eat anywhere, go to your aunt's house for a picnic, um, and, and still with the 2B mindset, learn how to eat a lot, enjoy it, and still lose weight. So the first videos break all of that down. Um, I'm gonna show you, there's a video called Don't Cook, and it's literally me at a dining room table with a stack of menus, and you're just gonna see like how to order Italian, how to order Chinese food, how to order Mexican, let's order from a steakhouse, what to do if you're like, need to go to 7-Eleven or Starbucks for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, like how to make that into a meal. So you'll see how you can really keep living your life with the 2B mindset. I'll show you how to go to events and parties. We'll talk about parties during the daytime and parties at night or a party like a wedding or or things like Super Bowl and Thanksgiving that just last all day around food. Um, there's a video talking about emotional eating because as you know, that's something that I really specialize in that people really overcome while doing this program. Um, and and that and all those questions you have. So you have all these questions that go on in your head, like there's a video for that. So there's a video on, but Alana, the scale went up, now what? There's a video for that. But Alana, I hit a plateau, now what? There's a video. But Alana, I feel like I completely fell off, now what do I do? There's a video for that. So there literally is a video addressing like all of these questions you've always had around food. If you're vegan, there's also a specialty vegan video. Um, and if you have questions about like, if you are dairy free, if you're gluten free, if you have any allergy, you can still do this program. It is totally flexible in that you're really choosing all the foods you want based on this system. So yes, you can do this. A lot of people are asking if they have digestive disorders or they can eat certain foods. It doesn't matter. You can still absolutely do this, you'll see. Um, 
and you'll love it. So that so there's 26 videos breaking down that, teaching you how to lose weight happily so you can keep it off for good. And then there's also recipe videos. And the recipe videos are unlike any recipe video you've ever seen before. It is very different than anything you've seen on the Food Network or on BuzzFeed Tasty or even Fixate. I have a totally different approach because I don't really have this like superb culinary background, as you'll see. I just love a lot of food and always have. So you'll learn that you do not have to be an expert in the kitchen to make these delicious, satisfying, and simple meals. Most of the recipes have under five ingredients or less. Um, and if I need a quarter of an onion for a recipe, you'll see like there's no pre-measured cup of pre-diced onions. Like I take an onion and I slice it in a quarter. I was very firm to beach body on that, that I didn't want any pre-measured anything. If I was gonna be using spices, they're coming out of a jar or container just like you would be using at home. So you feel like you can do these um, in a really approachable way. So um, the recipe videos are so fun. The recipes are delicious. And in addition to these about 40 videos you're getting on May 2nd when you get the program, you're also gonna get a box. And the box has incredible additional tools that Beachbody is so good at making. Um, a go-to guide, um, a getting started guide, a tracker book that's phenomenal, um, a water bottle, and also a recipe book with additional recipes. So there's a lot that you're getting with this program, and I highly recommend if you don't already have a good beach body coach that you get a good beach body coach and you join a group because it's really in like that group setting where it kind of becomes alive. Um, because you'll see it's you're really going to just totally be shifting your minds in a positive way, and and that's what's going to make the process so much more fun and so much more sustainable so you actually keep it off um, and that group dynamic and support is so good for just reinforcing that positive mindset because you're going to watch the videos you're going to have the information but it's when you put it in motion that you really see the success so um, I'm so excited for you all to do it um, Yes, it's an additional fee from BOD. It's very different than everything on BOD. Um, and you don't need Beachbody On Demand to do it, but I'm sure um, everyone here has Beachbody On Demand. Um, more about what other questions do you guys have? Um, and yes, once you have it, you have it for life. So you'll be able to watch these videos again and again and again, and I recommend you do, because some of the videos are really short. Um, some of the videos are really short. So like the emotional eating video is only five minutes, but if you watch it in five minutes and your kid comes on your lap um, or you get distracted or you start texting a friend, like you're going to want to watch it multiple times. Um, so that's really nice because when the app launches on June 4th, you will be able to access it, you know, wherever you are. If you're having that, you know, somewhat of like an emotional eating episode and you want to look at it or before you go to the grocery store, wherever you are, you'll be able to kind of access that. Um, but even if you don't have the app, you know, like I said, we have all these additional resources like this, like this, um, guide that you're going to get, which is a compliment to the videos showing you like that you could just take this in with you in the grocery store and kind of sums up each of the videos. Um, what other questions does everyone have? Will there be an Android app? I don't believe there's going to be an Android app at, at, um, at launch. Um, I see some of my bunnies in here. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Tiffany. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Um, and I mean, I, a lot of people are asking like technical questions of the program itself and the fee. Um, I just want you guys to know um, the value of this program far exceeds anything um, that you would be paying. Um, I charge three times the amount for the whole program in one session um, with a private client. So this is like an immense amount of value to this program. I can't even uh, explain it to you. And everyone who's done the program um, will tell you that like they would have paid a zillion times more for it because it's it's so life changing in such a positive way. I actually wanted to make like an infographic showing like the difference between you know the face creams people buy and and all these things people buy that really are not effective and how insanely effective and life promoting and fabulous and just uh, glorious this program is for such a nominal fee. So I, I mean, you guys will see the cascading benefits of this program are immense. And if you see the before and after pictures of people doing this program, it is so beyond anything you've seen before. So in the past, you might have seen like other programs show before and after pictures. But when you see people do the 2B mindset, you see a glow. It's a glow. I can't explain it. It's like this 2B mindset glow. It is this 
not only do they look phenomenal, not only are people losing on average of like 10 pounds a month every month consistently, um, people are losing more weight and happier in months six and seven and eight on this program than they necessarily are in month one. You never see that with anything else. Um, and they're happier. So it's like, it's really one of these programs where it's so much more than just weight loss. It's, it gives you this self empowerment around food and improved relationship around food in your body. Uh, people like your friends and family won't even know you're on something because you're going to feel like you're like you're not different than everyone else that's the best part of it you're not going to feel like you're on any sort of diet your whole mindset is just going to shift in a more positive way that's just going to relate into a healthier body um, and perspective and greater sense of confidence and fulfillment and health uh, one of the greatest things we see come out of this program is people's cholesterol improve blood sugar improve blood pressure improve I mean that so when people talk about price it, it seems so silly to me because your doctors will be like hugging you at the table um, and telling you likely that you have drastically drastically um, lowered your potential healthcare costs in your future uh, by doing this program so I really recommend you do it starting May 2nd because you're gonna absolutely love it um, will there be a physical copy there are no DVDs so <clears throat> it's not DVD based it's all digital based um, hopefully there'll be DVDs <clears throat> in the future um, it's gonna be translated into Spanish and in French, the materials um, will be translated in Spanish and French via PDF, available um, digitally. And there will also be subtitles in Spanish and French if you are you know, um, speak those languages. And there will also be closed captioning as well. Um, how, okay, so someone's asking how it's different than 21 Day Fix and Containers. This is nothing like the containers. It's a completely different program than the container system. Um, as you just heard of my whole story, I didn't even know what the containers were two years ago when I met Beachbody. I, I, I never used them in my 100 pound weight loss or my consulting practice. I never even knew they existed. It's a completely different approach to eating. Um, the same way Beachbody On Demand has hammer and chisel and three week yoga retreat is the same way that this is a completely different program from the container system. So, you know, you could do PIO and be really healthy and happy, or you could do, you know, Body Beast and be really healthy and happy, but they're completely different programs for different people. Uh, the same way this is totally different. People doing the 2B mindset, a lot of them were coaches who did containers in the past and, you know, never looked at them doing this program. It's a completely different way of eating um, that I think you'll really love. Um, as you know, Carl, the CEO of Beachbody explains it, it's more of like an internal control um, versus an external control. So, you know, the container system, it's like you put your food in the containers and, and that makes you feel more control around your food. And this is more of a, a different way you're thinking about food. So you're in control of it, you know, even at your grandmother's house or, you know, at a football game or somewhere else without needing um, that physical external device. So it's a much different process. Um, and I think you're going to absolutely love it um, because it really is so flexible in that way and so sustainable in that way. Um, and 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 you'll you'll really enjoy it because uh, everyone who's been doing it has been so successful and and really just so happy in the process of doing it. I'm excited for you to do it too. Um, other questions? Um, what are some other questions? Um, oh, Saudi says our skin glows. It's true. <laughs> People who are doing the 2B mindset, it's like, if you look at the before and after pictures, I have a lot posted on my on my page and that Carl is posting and, and you're seeing um, in some of the sizzle reels and stuff, it's a happiness. And, and the coolest thing is that we took like the after pictures for the testimonials so many months ago and people doing the test groups, we're talking like seven, eight months later have kept their weight off. I mean, what other program, weight loss program out there do you see that shows results like that? Um, so, I mean, there's nothing like that on earth. Um, there's a way that you could submit results and get a t-shirt. Yes, I believe you can. Um, what other questions? Do you guys want to know? Oh, someone asked, can pregnant women do it? I'm actually eight and a half months pregnant. So we've been getting this question a lot, but I think we would be getting this question a lot even if I weren't because there's something in Shakeology, I think, because the question of pregnancy comes up literally every minute. Um, as the program stands right now, it's a really effective weight loss program. So as of right now, I don't recommend 
women do it because it's it really is effective weight loss program. However, we did test this program out with several pregnant women with certain modifications and their results of having just healthier, happier pregnancy, more control of their food and their body and a, a better overall like mindset with their nutrition while pregnant has been really great. But it's with those modifications that we just haven't published yet. So um, as of May 2nd, I hope those modifications will be published and ready, um, but they're not at this exact time. So as of right now, today, two weeks prior to the program, I'd say it's not appropriate for pregnant women at this time, but hopefully we'll get those modifications out of how you would modify it so that you are getting all the benefits of a better approach to eating, um, a healthier mindset, a, you know, a better way of looking at your meals um, and your energy and your health without the aspect of losing weight, which we wouldn't want you to do as a pregnant person because that would be um, unhealthy. Um, and what other questions, guys? You do not count calories and you do not count containers. So a lot of people are saying, then how can you lose weight if you don't count calories, macros, containers, or cut any food groups out? I will show you. I know it sounds too good to be true because we've never been told that there is another way, but there is another way. Um, and I have it. And I'll show it to you um, in just two weeks from now. I promise you there's no one walking around like France and Greece all day who's a healthy weight who's necessarily thinking about their macros and calories all day. There is a more freeing um, and positive approach to eating that I will show you that is super effective and makes you so you're not dependent on these things long term. Um, this is very different than calorie counting. I'll explain why um, I don't believe in counting calories or points um, right now if you want. Do you guys want me to talk about that? Because I could talk about that. I could totally talk about um, how this compares to keto, how this compares to calorie counting, how this compares to um, points or, and, and all that stuff. Yeah. So people want me to talk about that. Um, okay. So it's, I, I, I don't, I don't believe in counting calories for a couple of reasons. One is, um, they're inaccurate. <laughs> like, and, and I think, um, oh, I'm getting a lot of likes. Okay. So I'm thinking that that's what I should talk about. Um, calorie counting, um, first off is not accurate. The FDA actually allows food companies a 20% deviation in food labeling, which is really crazy. So basically when you get a hundred calorie pack of pretzels from Nabisco or something, that a hundred calorie bag of pretzels could actually be 119 calories and still be legal. And so people counting calories of like thinking they need 1700 calories a day in order to lose weight. If they're eating food that's labeled as such, um, they could be eating closer to 2100 calories a day. And that could be a difference of about 35 pounds a year that they're gaining while they're trying to lose weight and count calories. Um, so that's one reason why people can't calorie count on a day-to-day -day basis because so much of it is inaccurate. Now you will see that I do talk about calories when I talk about how to shop for food products. And if you look at my Instagram page, Alana Molston, you'll see like I use calories as like a comparative value because it's something that look at um, and understand, um, you know, when choosing products and understanding what a good snack is. And it, you know, you shouldn't have a snack bar that's 600 calories that's considered a snack. Um, you should have something closer to the beach bar that's about 150 calories for a snack. So I'll explain to you in calories in the perspective of how to choose smart foods. And so you're, you know, choosing foods that are helping you lose weight and feel satisfied, not sabotaging you. But in terms of counting calories on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't believe in it because one, it's inaccurate and two, it really messes with your relationship with food in your body. Um, because when it creates this paranoia of, I need to eat this amount, I need to eat this amount, and you're never really eating according to what you need because um, you're really relying so much on this outwardly system. Um, and what people do when they're counting calories or points is they save up all day so they can go to an Italian restaurant at night and use them all and all of that, um, which is definitely not healthy for a positive relationship with food and weight loss. Um, also, calories aren't equal. We actually process proteins in a very different way than we take in fats and, and carbohydrates. And so it doesn't really make sense to look at all calories as equal in that way. So you will still eat carbs with this plan. You'll still eat protein with this plan. You'll still eat vegetables with this plan and all this stuff, but you're going to learn when to eat which food group for your best optimal weight loss, energy, and mindset. Um, and you'll realize that calories aren't equal in that way that you, you know, just because, you know, a loaf of bread is within your point system, you're probably gonna feel really crabby if that's all you're eating in a day. Um, and the other thing with calories is that people, it messes with their ability to learn what their body really needs, right? Because I know so many people who 
feel full and satisfied, want to just go to sleep, but like their calorie counting or points app is telling them that they still have, you know, 300 calories. So what do they do? It's like nine o'clock at night. They start going into the fridge because they can um, and not really because they need to. Um, so I find it totally messes with people's relationship with food. It makes you completely reliant on it. And then when you come into like Christmas season or holiday season and you know you can't calorie count when you're at a potluck and you're at your grandma's house you just don't and then if you're not going to be counting you might as well be off and you never really result into a positive relationship with food in your body you're always on or off in this program like you're never off um with the 2b mindset there is no cheating if you have you know eggnog on christmas you'll realize like how to prioritize it in a way that you're really actually fully enjoying it. and you could still lose weight before new year starts not after um so this program is so freeing in that way um and also, I find that the calorie and the macro counting and the points counting, they totally make us scared of food because um, they create a barrier between people and food. So, you know, instead of calling it a sweet potato, you're now calling it five points or 300 calories. And so when you're off and you're not counting the calories or the macros or the points, you're like, Oh God, I go, I have to go back to that in order to eat well. Whereas with the 2B mindset, like if you're eating a sweet potato and two chicken thighs and broccoli and, you know, balsamic vinaigrette, then you're going to be thinking in food and you're going to be realizing what food is best for you and your body. So in five years from now, you know, when you want to lose five more pounds for a wedding or something, you'll just go back to eating. Oh, you know what? I was really enjoying that sweet potato and chicken thighs and, and broccoli meal. Like, let me get that back in my life. And you're not going to be scared of food because you're no longer going to be hiding behind a point system or a macro system or a calorie counting system. You're going to be really trusting yourself and your body around food. Um, and that's one of the most positive things that come out of this program is people relieve that fear that they used to have around food and they start to really appreciate it more. Um, so um, that that's very different. Um, another question people are getting is someone is saying the scale's not moving anymore you're at a plateau you do this program and the scale's going to move in three seconds for you don't you worry um uh it's so obviously this program is very different someone asked if it was the same as intermittent fasting um it has some benefits of intermittent fasting in that you will have optimal fat burning hours, um, but it will contrast drastically with intermittent fasting because you'll never have to fast. So you'll learn how to optimize fat burning hours and how to design your meals in a way that you can lose the most amount of weight while feeling full, but you're still going to eat after 2 p.m. Uh, because you're still going to you know, go on a date night and you're still going to live your life. And we have to eat with our family and our friends um, while sustaining a healthy weight and mindset with our lives. So you do not have to fast. I'm going to show you that you can still eat big, satisfying, delicious meals and still be burning uh, tons of fat. So you definitely do not have to um, get induced with the keto flu and, and ever restrict or say no to any food groups in the future, you'll realize. Um, yes, I touch on emotional eating. Chris asked, do I touch on emotional eating? I have a long history of emotional eating, working with emotional eaters. I myself uh, am constantly, like I, I was just talking about on a call about, um, you know, even after lecturing at UCLA for years, Still, you know, came up obviously again two years ago. My mother passed away, and and I had to like uncover it all over again and really create even stronger tools for myself for overcoming um, the aspect of emotional eating that plagues all of us and is something that we have to work on. So yes, there's a video touching on emotional eating. There's going to be um, you know a lot of extra tools if you're a Beachbody coach and you're joining my test group starting May 2nd, which I hope you are. Um, I'll talk more and more and more about it, and I'll always be talking a lot about it because emotional eating is very real. Um, and obviously, it's not something that we started in a day, so it's not going to be cured in a day, but I'm going to show you all the tools to start overcoming it. Um, uh, someone said they just tuned in. What are we talking about? We're talking about the 2B Mindset, the upcoming program. Um, what about Shakeology? Yes, Shakeology is you don't you're not required to have Shakeology in order to do the program but it is highly recommended um, uh, I have a million recipes involved with Shakeology and the 2B mindset showing you how to integrate the 2B mindset uh, with Shakeology I love Shakeology um, I'm a big fan of it I have it like every day my husband has it every day my daughter has daily sunshine <laughs> we are really big Shakeology fans and then doing this program with like 
hundreds of coaches. We've seen, you know, having Shakeology as part of your everyday um, integrated into your to be mindset meals can be really helpful and effective of, you know, still having chocolate every day while feeling full and satisfied and weaving into your day to day lifestyle. Um, Shakeology works really well, especially because um, I look at it as a really high protein um, and I'm a really big fan of having protein at every meal, which you'll see because protein keeps us full. And I'm a big believer that we should feel full and satisfied all day, every day while still losing weight, which I'll show you how to do. Um, and so Shakeology, you can work into your breakfast your lunch or snack or your dinner um, I'm also a really big believer in consistency with your like morning routine I'm a really big fan of a consistent breakfast consistent somewhat of a morning routine while you're like getting your kids out of the house or the emails are pouring in and everything is chaotic it's nice to have like a good solid morning routine so you can stay focused on, on what you want to do for the day and how you're gonna tackle it and be best focused and energized to get through it and Shakeology is the absolute perfect fit for that because it's something that's so easy to stay consistent with. It tastes so good and it's so high in protein and fiber. So it really gives you that fullness and satisfaction to curb mid morning cravings um, and everything that comes up. And also that fiber filled carbohydrates where you have that good fueled energy through the morning. And of course you could add fruit to it. You could add almond milk to it. Like you could have fun with it, experiment with recipes. It works really, really, really well. Um, and people doing TV mindset have made what I call my wonder whips, like whipping them into Greek yogurt. Um, and enjoying it like that, like almost like a mousse, topping it with like cereal or granola or fruit to make it really yummy. Or people have been making overnight oats with it. Um, and find like that's really helpful for just setting them up for a great week. So you could have a lot of fun with Shakeology um, and the 2B mindset, and it's highly, highly recommended um, as part of the program. Um, how do we join the group? It, starting May 2nd, if you're a coach, then you can join my exclusive Facebook group um, with it if you're a coach. Um, someone said, how do I get a six pack in under a day? Eric, I love you. Um, you're adorable. Uh, one thing you guys can do before starting this program is understand that my my biggest mission for the Chubby Mindset for every client I ever work with is I always want to make sure that everything I say is simple. So it's like really easy. It's not overly complicated. It's the most simplified form of uh, to be really still a, very effective. It has to be sensible. It has to make sense. So people can ask me about like, any other sort of diet in the planet? Should I inject myself with an HCG hormone? No, should I only eat grapefruit? No, does that make any sense? Did anyone for, I mean, our obesity crisis has like tripled in the past like 30 to 50 years. What were we doing 50 years ago? Were we only eating grapefruits? Were we cutting out brains? Were we cutting out beans? Were we cutting out fruit? Absolutely not. Um, it sh that doesn't make any sense. Um, and that's not the answer. The answer is how I'm gonna present you eating in the way the 2B mindset is presented, which you'll see you could still eat all these really good and good for you foods but how to approach in the way that you are still losing weight. Um, so everything I always want to tell you is going to be sensible, meaning it's evidence-based. It's also backed by years and years of research of people who've been eating this way and lost their weight and kept it off um, and proven for just optimal health and energy that makes sense um, and in a very, very sensible way. And the third thing I always really, really care about is sustainability. So I'm going to be very, I mean, in the test groups, everyone's very excited. They're losing so much weight at 30 days, at 60 days. People, I mean, someone just posted it's day 68 and she's down like 22, 23 pounds um, in about two months. And, and she looks fantastic and phenomenal and like super toned and incredible. I happy but at the end of the day I really care about sustainability I want people to keep this off by 2025 2035 2045 like that's when I sleep at night when we when people don't only lose weight but they've kept it off so this is the last time you'll ever have to lose weight um, and that's really my mission for this program and that's really what the test group has seen is that they realize that this is the last weight loss program they ever have to do they never again will have to do another thing to lose 30 40 pounds 10 pounds 15 pounds because once you lose weight on this program you have all the tools you need to make sure that you keep it off for good and that's why it works so well so i know people are asking like how much weight will i lose in day one like don't you worry um one of the coolest aspects about this program one of the most biggest differentiators between the two B months and everything else is that we've seen with the test groups, people actually lose more weight in month two, three, four, five, and even six than they necessarily do in month one. That's the cool. You're watching the videos, you're learning it, you're kind of 
figuring out my system, you're doing trial and error, you're putting it all together, but then once you get it and you create your system and you realize it's working best for you, it clicks, and then you can keep losing so much, so much more weight. So what I will tell you with the 2B mindset is that the more effort you put in into May, into June, into your first two months, like the more effort you put in, the more you put into this, the more effortless it becomes, and the more it just like seamlessly weaves into your lifestyle, so you never have to overthink your food or ever start any sort of restrictive thing ever again. So um, you're gonna love it. Um, someone asked, what is 2B? What does 2B mindset stand for? So um, I have these foundational principles that I created after I had my daughter. Um, and that's when I was like, again, like really perfecting the system. And I think I was staying up all night reading all of her baby books. And I was working with a private client. And I said, just follow these four principles. They work every time for every human being with every person I've worked with, with PCOS and going through menopause and believing they can't lose weight and people who don't actually exercise these four principles literally have always worked on everyone and I said like these are my four principles look they look like two bunnies and and I started calling them my two bunnies um, and you guys will see a lot of pictures of me doing this and a lot of people doing this and you'll probably start doing this because you'll see that these are like the, my four foundational principles but you'll also realize that there's like a zillion principles and ideas that come with this program these are just my four like mainstay and I call them my two bunnies but um, as a company as Beachbody you know a company that's come out with programs like Insanity Max 30 and Body Beast they weren't very excited about calling a program two bunnies um, and of course those are only you know four out of my you know lots and lots of principles that come with this program so to be mindset to be kind of stands for the two bunnies which you'll learn um, but to be also just kind of represents that forward-thinking mentality that this program comes up with because you're never again gonna be guilty around food you're never again gonna feel like you're cheating you can't cheat and do this program if you have pizza and fries you're gonna have pizza and fries. You're never again gonna feel like you have to not eat the next day or that you cheated or that you fell off or that you have to do a double workout the next day. Like all of that negativity goes out the window when you start this program. So it's a very forward thinking program where you're always either losing weight or you're learning um, from your past experiences of how you can lose more weight in the future. Um, and so it's really, this program is really the thing that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. That size you've always wanted to be, that athlete you've always wanted to be, that energy level you've always wanted to have, um, you can get there with this program. So this program like defies what you've seen in the past. Like you can see other programs that help people go from a you know size 26 to a size 18, but you know, they still have weight to lose. You, you see the before and afters and the to be mindset, like people get really to that slim fit, trim shape that they never thought possible. I mean, people doing these test groups have lost 70, 80, 90, 95 pounds. Um, so you really can get to that point you've always wanted to be that you've, that you've been battling, that you've been self-sabotaging or doubting, you can really overcome with the to be mindset. Um, and you will, and you absolutely will. I've been on for 51 minutes, so I feel like I should, um, I should wrap up Someone said, yes, there's so much education on nutrition beyond what to eat. I'm a registered dietitian. I have a bachelor of science degree in nutrition. I have a master's degree in nutrition. You are going to come out of this with so much nutrition education, so much smarter nutrition education than you've ever read from a blog or a podcast or some silly diet or book. You are going to have such a positive and insightful perspective of nutrition in so many aspects after doing this program. Um, even if you thought you knew a lot about nutrition, like I said, you're going to be blown away um, by how much you're going to learn with this program. That just makes it so much more refreshing and fun and approachable. Um, alcohol, yes. Yes, you could still drink alcohol in this program. Believe me, I'm not knowing anything that I wouldn't do. I'm not telling anyone else to do. So no one's taking away my coffee. No one's taking away my cocktails. No one's taking away my chocolate. I realize those are all three C's. No one's taking away my three C's. I'm not taking away anyone else's. Um, um, uh, what other question? Oh, wait, there was a good question. Um, what was the other question? Hold on, I wanted another question. Um, Hold on, I want to, oh, as coach, okay. What can we do before starting this program? I'll end on that note, okay, because, um, uh, because you know we're, we all gotta go um, <laughs> I, could, I could sit here for a while but I, I but don't let me um, because I know you guys all have better things to do but we can all talk about what can we do before starting to be mindset two things two things you could do before starting to be mindset one is I really believe you should go to a doctor go to a doctor get a physical 
One thing a lot of people tell me is that they've been avoiding the doctor forever because they're scared to go on the scale. Is dangerous that is unhealthy you should absolutely get a physical and go to your doctor before starting this program because one of the coolest things that came out of the test groups and that my clients tell me every single day which makes me so happy so 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 happy gives me chills internally is how much your health will improve with this program so I really recommend in the next two weeks you schedule a physical before the summer um, get your blood pressure taken get your cholesterol your triglycerides your blood sugar levels your liver enzymes get your labs checked Go to the doctor, get a good physical because you, your doctors are going to be hugging you, like squeezing you in six months um, or a year when you get a checkup. I mean, we've coming out of the program, you're going to see a lot of testimonials, people who are looking better in bathing suits and in their jeans and talking about how confident they are in the bedroom and, and in energy around their work and their lives and everything. But the labs, the, the heart health improvements we've seen from this program as someone who's also on the board and I'm on the executive leadership uh, team for the American Heart Association, that really does mean a lot to me as a registered dietitian, um, as a health educator and promoter. So please, just please get a physical because you're going to see incredible benefits of this program way beyond the scale, way beyond your clothes, way beyond, you know, how sexy you feel. Um, so that's one is I really recommend people go to the doctor. The other thing you can do before starting this program is just how corny as it sounds, change your mindset. Be open-minded, believe that you can do this. You know, you, you can do this and you will love it. And this really is the last time you ever have to lose weight again. Um, this is super effective and this is really freeing and this is insanely positive. And you're gonna love every single moment of, the, of this process because you're gonna see progress on a day-to-day -day basis, not only in your weight, but in just your overall perspective of your body and health. And you're gonna see how like your relationship with food is really gonna improve on a day-to-day -day basis. And even if you don't think you have a lot of negative ties to it, you're gonna realize how more positive um, you're just thinking. Um, in your relation to your meals and events and everything. Um, and I really, I know a lot of people ask me questions and I have hundreds of direct messages on Instagram and Facebook and email of people saying, but, but I have a slow metabolism, but I always lose weight and I always gain it back. Or I've tried that diet and I was successful, but I gained it all back. And, and uh, people are messaging me that, I want to do this program, but I'm scared I'm going to fail. And that makes me so sad because people are already self-sabotaging before even starting it. Um, and of course, we all do that. We all self-sabotage. We all doubt ourselves. But please try to eliminate that as much as possible before starting this program because you can and you will. Um, you are going to lose so much weight during this program. This is going to be that freeing solution that you haven't had before that you are going to get. Um, and you're going to start trusting yourself around food and so much more. You're going to love food so much more and you're still going to realize that you can treat yourself without feeling like you have to cheat yourself and you can still have chocolate and coffee and, and alcohol and all those things we spoke about in such a more positive, freeing way that you don't beat yourself up with and that you could still actually lose weight from um, while still enjoying and living your life. So you just have to come with an open mind and trust the process and believe it because I promise I've been there too. You know, I had to lose this 100 pounds and learn how to keep it off and so have hundreds of other people who've been going through the program and my clients. I have clients who I haven't seen in five years who've maintain their weight beautifully and they just send me random texts of them at their kids weddings you know years later and they're just so happy and free you can do this and you will love it so please come in with an open mind um and try to you know leave as much self-doubt behind you and start just starting today just start telling yourself my body loves losing weight and i can lose this weight and i will lose this weight doing this program so um this program is definitely for you if you're a beach body enthusiast and someone who loves to work out but might have not been seeing those results you want because your eating hasn't been in a good place or it's for you if you you know you aren't as much of a workout enthusiast or you know you just came off of a really intense workout program and you want to chill for a little bit maybe stick to a, the three-week yoga retreat or the pio or just walking or, or something a little less gentle while you really get your food in focus um, and you and you take this on in a really positive way i love you all Thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't want to take any more of your time. I know I love that we coined the three C's on this call because I've never said that before and I just realized my three C's are my favorite things ever. What did we say? Coffee, chocolate, and cocktails. <laughs> we gotta make a video on it. Okay, love you guys so much. Have the best day.